This is Hoishan ancient town. This town uh, is named after the mountain that's very close to it and it's very famous for the fact that two emperors from the Qing dynasty visited here. Uh, Phil, what do you think of uh, the ancient, uh, Hoishan ancient Adam, town? Adam, I mean, it's so nice to stroll through the cities. It's almost like you're getting into a time machine sometimes and going back in time. The museums here are great. You can see artifacts from years gone by. And the people here are so nice and friendly and lovely. And one more thing, the food! <laughs> oh man, <laughs> those wraps we had, yep, that thing was so good. Really, really tasty, so tasty. Now usually you'll be thinking, I always start these videos in a museum, but this they call the outside museum. So it's still, do you think it's quite museum-like? I'm, <laughs> I'm all for outside museums. I like outside as opposed yep. to inside. So yeah, it's, uh, it's museum-like in that you learn a lot. Yep. So in that sense it is. Now this place, like I said, is so close to a mountain and we're going to try and climb it right now. All right, ready? I'm ready. The old man's going to try to keep up with you. Yeah. So we're going up. And we're here. <clears throat> we made it some way up the mountain. This mountain's very confusing. What do you think of the mountain so far? Uh, I love it so far. And of course, we met that nice couple, the grandmother with the grandson. Yeah. You notice the grandson was totally terrified <laughs> in the very beginning, but yeah. then all of a sudden he was high fiving. And the grandmother, you know, my Chinese is terrible. I had no idea what she was talking about, but she gesticulated so much yep. that we kind of figured it out and we were right. We did, we well, did, your yeah, Chinese yeah. is good, but mine's right, not okay. so good. Yeah, it's okay. She told us we wouldn't be able to get much further this way, and we didn't. <laughs> but we've made it some way, and the mountain looks really, really beautiful from what we've seen so far. Yeah, it's been a lovely walk so far, and you can see another gentleman coming up behind us. Yeah. The people here have been really lovely, and so far, so good. Really enjoying it. Cool. We're going to check out the mountain, and then we are going to go to the lake. All right, let's go. Lake Taihu. This is the third biggest uh, freshwater lake in China. Phil, what do you think of uh, Ta Lake Taihu? What an amazing walk it's been. You know, we've gone through all these different trees and shrubs. And, you know, even though we're in a fairly big city, by UK standards and American standards, it would be a really large city. <laughs> but here in China, it's a pretty large city. It just feels like you're off in the wilderness. Yeah. It's not that hard to get out here, and it's been a lovely walk, and the lake is immense. It's, it's so, we, you cannot walk around this lake. Like, this is a one day trip by itself, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're gonna spend maybe three, four hours here, and it's not gonna be enough, but yeah. it's enough to make us want to come back, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, it was, this lake's also connected to the Yangtze River, is that Yeah, it? yeah, and uh, if I remember, I was trying to read up so I don't sound like a complete idiot. <laughs> I think it's uh, the largest river in China, is that right? And the third so. largest in the yeah. world, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, so we're surrounded by large bodies of water, beautiful scenery, and once again, I, I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but lovely people. Really, yes. really genuinely yeah. nice people. Everyone's been saying hello to us here. And, uh, so we've had a really great time in this lake. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely something you want to come and do. Yeah, check it out.
awesome city and uh, great people, nice, nice ambience. I like just kind of this feeling that you're actually in China here, if you, yes. know, what I, if you know what I yeah. mean. Yeah, it's not, some parts are not that modern, so you get that feel that uh, you're actually experiencing China. It's yeah. a beautiful place, no doubt. Yeah, this is uh, Nanchang Jie, uh, Nanchang Street, Nanchang Jie. Very like a uh, old street, old town. It's got like lots of coffee shops here at night. There's lots of bars open. It's also got like lots of little shops, and there's a real mix of old buildings and new style. Like some of the shops are really kit kitted out to look to look new. Yeah, no uh, doubt. And you know, there's tons of restaurants and, uh, as you said, coffee shops and the waterways here. So yeah. beautiful. Really a beautiful city. I'm. So happy you brought me here. I'm really stoked. Yeah. I'm definitely coming back here. Yeah, this is and this is one of my favorite. This is probably my favorite place in Wuxi just to hang out. Because like even like say some of the places are meant to look new. They're in old buildings, so the building's still old. It's just the interior is looks new. Yeah. So a really cool kind of mixture between old and new here. Yeah, and talk about great people watching. If you like to people watch, <laughs> steady flow of yep. young old. Uh, just all kinds of different people yep. walking by. It's perfect for that. Yeah, exactly. So I, I highly recommend uh, Nan Chang Jie here in in Wuxi. I will second that. Uh, as we go underneath the tunnel and you can't see us, <laughs> we are on our way to Nan Chang Si. Join us there. Nanchang Si, Nanchang Temple or Nanchang Pagoda. Um, it's really late. Well, it's not that late. It's like six o'clock. Uh, yeah, almost six. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, it's closed. But uh, what do you think of it from the outside? Uh, I'm bummed that it's closed, but it's beautiful. And yeah. it's kind of cool that we hit it at this time because it's all lit up, as yes. you can see. Yeah. And it's yeah, beautiful, amazing. really nice. This whole area around here, we've just been eating some uh, shao kao, some barbecue, Chinese barbecue food around here. This whole area just has like street markets and street food and it's really delicious. Really vibrant too. I mean, people walking everywhere. Once again, really lovely people saying hello and curious about where we're from. Yep. And it's just been a delightful time here in Wuxi. I absolutely will come back to this city many, many times. I absolutely am crazy about this place. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, we can't we can't show you guys the pagoda, but you know if you come here a little bit earlier, it's absolutely a beautiful inside. Uh, anyway, that's pagoda. Like, take a look. Take a look at it. All right. See you. to an end. Man, what a day. Hey, Adam, we've, we're like at 18, 19 miles, yep. 40,000 steps. That's my personal best ever, so I'm very, very stoked about that. But the food, the people we met, the places we saw, what an extraordinary day. And I would feel very sad right now leaving this city. Yep. If I wasn't convinced, I'd be back really soon. Yes, and the good thing, because we live in Quinshan, I uh, wish you Quinshan's very close. We went to uh, the ancient uh, Huishan, ancient town, uh, went up the mountain a little bit, went to the lake, went to Nanchang Jie, which is uh, an old street, and then Nanchang Si, which is just a pagoda. We ate some amazing food. What, like, do you have a favorite part? Like, a, It's all amazing, but do you have like a best part? Nope, I, I really don't. Yeah. And uh, for me, it, we'd probably go back to the people we met today. Yeah. We met some really yeah. lovely people. Yeah. But uh, no, not really. I mean, the lake was outstanding. The mountain was really incredible. The pagoda was lit up and so beautiful at night. The street food and the vibrant atmosphere around it, it's all just comes together and makes for a wonderful day. And what makes Wuxi so much more amazing is that there's so much more to do here. There's like a Lingshang Buddha, 
I couldn't have said that wrong, but I'll write that down in the description below. There's the Plum Gardens, which are amazing. There's Mei Yuan Temple, which is amazing. There's still so much to do here that we didn't even get to see today. And we've been here for like 12 hours, walked 17 miles. Yeah, it's an incredible city, right? Incredible, and uh, all those things you mentioned mean one thing. We got to come back. We're coming back. <laughs> We're coming back. So, if you want to check out more from That China Life, we've been to... Right here we've been to Changsha, and right here we've been to Wuhan, and please subscribe. Alright, thank you everybody. Bye bye! As they say in China, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>